We're back today with a classic, a legend of the game, Survive Monaco. But the big twist is, along with the Extreme Damage mod today, we've also got the No Grip mod. Can I survive an entire lap without breaking any bit of my car, finishing inside the top 10 whilst we have these two mods on? Let's find out. And like we did with the Vegas version of this video, we're going to be starting off with 25% grip and working our way up. And then right at the end, we'll do 0% just for a laugh. But this is 20 Five, and it's pretty bad enough. We're getting on the way. Oh, how have I missed the Aston? Oh, no. Oh, I've hit the wall. I'm quite impressed we missed this Aston by a whisker. Look at that on the bottom right. That is inches away from a crash. But in doing so, I then just slid myself into that wall. Great. And if you knew around here and it wasn't obvious how extreme and hardcore that damage mod is, well, just look at that rear tire. It came off like it was literally stuck on with some Brit stick as we get underway for a second time. Going to try and go a little bit quicker if we can. Up to second, up to third gear. Easy. E oh, no. Come on. I think my problem is I actually want to go quicker. Maybe slow and steady is going to win this race, really, at least at 25% grip. We haven't even got to turn one. I, I, I can't even imagine what chaos is about to occur at turn one, but it's just too inviting. Like, these guys are going quite slow. Piastri, I can't believe an AI has managed to have a bad start in comparison to everyone else. We've all got such... So you want some? What was that? What was that? Huh? Huh? We were just going along. I was taking the piss out of Oscar there for having a bad start when all of us have equally low grip. And then you just come along, don't you? You just... Oh, it's Stroll! Even better. Of course it is. Of course. This crash is actually low-key very comical because look how slow this happens and how much damage it causes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it. That was it. It was a love. That would be a little love tap in real life. And it's absolutely mothered my front right. But the side pod, though, that big new side pod, intact, you know, intact. All right, no messing about. Um, I'm ready to move on to 50% grip, which might even be worse. Like in Vegas, I think actually as we go up grip levels to 15 75%, it'll actually be worse because the AI will be quicker and they'll be able, be able to actually race me and therefore crash into me. Whereas right now, this is more just a challenge of me avoiding a crash with myself in terms of driving with this low amount of grip. Easy, easy. Okay, here we go. Getting to turn one. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one's made it through. Unbelievable. I was kind of worried I was going to lock up there and go straight on myself, but no. But the James May tactic has worked. So instead, he's going to win this race. I'm telling you, the reason why I start these videos with 25% grip, even though it sounds like it should be harder, it's because honestly, this just happens at turn one. Especially if there's a long enough run to turn one like there is now. This is a Formula One graveyard. This is a Formula One graveyard, or they're all queuing up to go into the, lo I, don't, I don't know what the local shop is at Monaco, the local Le Asdor. Well, now we just go for a nice Sunday drive around Monaco. I'm literally one of, oh, actually, there's another car still in this race. One of two. Who's left? Sorry, who's left? Oh, is it, is it, is it Sergeant? Is it Logan Sergeant? Oh, Logan Sergeant. <laughs> now, this just looks a bit scary. This, this looks scary. This is like a horror film. What's happened to all the Formula One cars? Well, Logan Sargent is going to get his first ever podium. And it's simply because everyone else is crashed out as we uh, now have to survive the actual circuit itself with 25% grip, which can be a challenge because you need to just keep on remembering. It really just is all about slow speed because as soon as I've got any sort of actual momentum, the brakes are going to lock. The car's not going to want to turn in. Like, easy. Look, it's not turning. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> that was close. The great thing about uh, at such low speed, you can admire the circuit, you know? Like, how often have you really admired this apex? Okay, that wasn't that interesting. All right, the tunnel's going to be tricky because you want to go quick. You want to go quick, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to make this right-hander properly if we go too quickly. So you're just going to stay in second gear. Roll the car through the apex. A little bit of wobbling. It's fine. We're going to control it. It's good. It's good. Oh, oh, okay. Getting a bit out of control. It's fine. Slow it down for this. 
The car won't slow. Barely. Make that. I'm not making that turn. I might know. Oh my god. Look at the mini map. Look at the mini map. Is, is that where Sergeant is? How slow has he been going? Oh my god. This is his pace. This is his speed. How? <laughs> It's because he's got no front wing, so he's got even less grip. What speed is he going at? He's going at two miles per hour. Two miles per hour. That's what he's doing. That is going to be a long, long way. For reference, he's here. I'm literally somewhere down there. Crowd, oh, look at that packed grandstand. They are going absolutely mild for this very slow rendition of a Monaco GP racing lap by a Formula 1 car but needs must to get to the end of the race. And so the wild Mercedes elegantly drifts through the final corner, exquisite cornering and mastery here in the Principality. Absolute smoke screen going on behind me, but we don't care. We've got to the end of the lap and we've survived the Monaco GP just about. My God, I nearly put it in the wall there at the end. Right, on to 50%. Right, on to 50%. Let's see if the AI are any better at Getting past, um, let me check my notes. Turn one. Yep, turn one. Let's see if they can do that. This is double the grip they had last time. Already they're moving about a bit more. Can we... Oh, I can't make a move on the left. Oh, God, on the right as well. Oh, the Haas! Magnussen, really? Oh, no. I'm, I'm see Are you seeing what I'm seeing up the road? I don't think they're making it past turn one, lads. All right, well, uh, looks like it's going to be surviving myself again. Or surviving a wall up until turn one and then surviving the track and myself for the remainder of it because it, see, it seems like at Monaco 50% is still not enough for them to navigate turn one. I'm going to get squeezed out to no end here. I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to sit back here with a bucket of popcorn and watch all these lemons. All you lemons. Oh, poor Russell. He's airborne. Okay. He's mounted a Williams car. Dear. Oh, there's one car that's mounted. Oh, we've got a race on our hands. Magnussen. Here he comes. He's gone through. He's through. Magnussen is through into P1. We've got a proper... Even the Haas. I think Hulkenberg's still in. <laughs> okay. Okay, see you later, mate. See you later, mate. I spoke way too soon. You're out, son. You're out. And this is actually quite delightful. I've actually got a bit of pace about me, you know? And the grip, it's not too bad. These AI are useless. Yeah, no, this is this is not this is not a challenge. This is all calm. This is perfectly fine. I can even do a skill move. Watch. Oh, 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 held it. Lovely. On towards 75%. And the tyres are still here. Lovely. All right, 75%. We're now going to really see if the AI can get past turn one. If they don't, I think we can call this video a bit of a fail, unfortunately. And maybe a great illustration of why I haven't done as many Survive episodes on this game so far. Because they're either too dumb or too clever to get through unscathed. Oh, there's a Ferrari through. And the rest of them, no. This is the only way Ferrari are going to win another race this season is with the damage mod. Science is through, and he, look at him go. The rest of us, we are, the rest of them, they're all in the bin. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a few are left. <laughs> what? What? No, come on. You were meant to be the chosen one. He's just, he's done the exact same thing as Magnussen. Ah, I miss the older F1 games, man, when I didn't have to add no grip and we could just have some fun survive episodes without the grip mod involved because with the grip mod it's sometimes just like this it's a bit too powerful and they just smash into a wall well let's be honest ladies and gents this is going to be piss easy for me to get to the end let's move it on to the wacky and just the degenerate part of the video which a lot of you seem to like is simply just watching virtual fake race cars crashing into each other at high speed with 0% grip. All right, are you ready for a magic trick? Because we're going to go three, two, one. Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, actually, quite nicely. We've all been quite polite to the FI. Look at this. We've all funneled in. Look at this. We've all been very polite. We've all funneled into the runoff area. Easy cleanup work for FI. Oh, where's the crash? Oh, they're, they're all in the runoff. 
Turn one's fine. That curb has seen no action. Like how there's just a little trail of where the, the absolute travesty has occurred. <laughs> what a little pen, though. It's like, the, it's like the new. It's like it was made for this mod. Right, I've got an idea. I'm going to turn the grip off completely at the hairpin. Because I reckon... Because it's such a closed, confined space. Surely there's going to be some, some sort of funny business occurring. But look at this. This is full grip, by the way. This is another behind the scenes of why I haven't done Survive hardly this, this year. It's because, look at this, with full grip, they're actually just too clever now to crash into each other and become a nuisance for me. Like, like literally no one's crashed yet. But they will, they will be, because now, no grip. Oh my god, no, I've crashed in before the hairpin. That's a disaster. That's it. Oh, they all crashed there. That wasn't as spectacular as I thought it would be. I thought there would be a massive mound over here, but they've all just collected. Uh, it's like, it's literally like they're all trying to wall ride. <laughs> Look at that Ferrari. He was in the lead and then he just slides. <laughs> he thought he was him. He thought he was him and he's out. I've turned it off for the AI, but not for me. Let's try and see if we can get through this. <laughs> oh my days. So much smoke. So much. Again, they're getting collected very nicely at that old puncher at the, uh, at that little runoff area. Oh, Perez nearly got away. Oh, these two. <laughs> they thought they thought they could win. But in the end, I and this mod are inevitable. Guys, that has been it. That has been Survive Monaco with no grip and uh, extreme damage. Uh, apologies, really. I, it wasn't as spectacular as I was wanting it to. And again, this kind of really proves to you guys maybe a good reason of why I haven't really done as many of these videos on this game. Um, they're a little bit too clever now if you know what I mean, to actually have some fun trying to survive them and dodge them. Uh, even if I was to do this on like a keyboard, uh, to be honest, I think I could do it pretty easily on this game because they're actually just not really that crash prone anymore. So yeah, I don't know. I have had an idea lately though, guys, of maybe doing some throwback retro survives on older F1 games. Let me know if you'd like to see that maybe in the future. But for now, if you have enjoyed this one, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.